Welcome back to PJ Chain Design. This is PJ. Today, I would like to show you how to create this two-tone puzzle ring and puzzle it back perfectly with the Rhino 3D software. Are you ready? Let's get started. For this uh, two-tone puzzle ring today, we are going to make the notch on each of the ring correctly so they can be wear by itself or to be separate. So that's starting from the scratch. We are going to starting at the front view with the circle command, snapping into the zero and I want a diameter for 16 millimeter and that will be my ring size. With this uh, ring size, I'm going to set it up for the profile of the ring. So I would like to have it for about one and a half millimeter on one side and one and a half millimeter on the other side right there. So with this um, setup, we can make it into the solid by coming into the surface and then you will you have a sweep one rail. This is, will be the rail, this will be the cross section, and then we'll get that one ring there. Now the other ring we can simply just making a copy by using the copy command, and we want to snap in here to here, end point to the end point, and then we'll get two ring here. So let me just uh, change the other one to the other layer. So it's easier for you to see, and I'm going to change that into the red color. All right, so we have two ring right here. Now, right in the middle, I need to design where that cross section is going to be. So I'm going to draw a straight line using the line command, uh, command that you have from the midpoint, and we're gonna snap in here at the zero, and holding the shift command to draw a straight line. As long as you pass those two ring um, for the width, that'll be fine. And I wanna rotate this one for 45 degree. You can decide it whatever degree that you want it. For me in this demonstration, I just want to do 45, but you can do like 30, 60 degree if that works for you. So first of all, I'm going to kind of making a copy to whatever I felt like the thickness should work. Uh, and this is only one side, so I may want it to be that thick, right? And the other one, I simply just going to use the mirror command to mirror this one to the other side. Take a look on the thickness and see if this is what you like. If it is not, you can kind of move it back a little bit and make sure that uh, this is crossed on the both section and then you can mirror again if you want to. Right, so this is up to you, like whatever thickness that you want for the middle section. Once we have that middle section, I'm just simply going to connect it this point to this point and this end point to this end point. Right, so now we have a square over there, and let's go ahead to select all this curve and join it with the join command. So now once it is joined, we're going to use this one to trim the area that we don't want it. So basically I'm going to trim off the area on the right side of the black and also on the left side of the red. So then we got something like this. Notice that this is a big opening right there. So we want to use the cap command to make sure they become uh, turning back to the solid. So CAP is the command that we're going to use to cap it. All right, so now we have this and this together. I'm going to Boolean union, like two pieces together, so now they become one, okay? And let's go ahead to use the mirror command, and we wanna mirror this guy, and go from here to here, and one of them, I'm going to turn them back into the black color. So now you know we have this connected there. Notice that they are two sections, both on the top and the bottom, they are overlapping. This is where we want to make it into the puzzle. So the next thing what we wanted to do is to extrude this one. So coming into the solid, extrude it planar curve straight. We want to extrude it somewhere halfway there. Okay, so now with this, let me hiding this one, it's easier for you to see. With this color that we have, we need to have uh, do the same thing to the, the other side. So I'm going to just mirror to the other side, 
holding my shift so they will be 180 degree and then we're simply just going to do the boolean difference this red one out of those black one so then you get a cut over there if you turn it back to what you have there for the black one that we have you can see that now the where it is intersect is like a half of them so we need to use this one as a color for the black one and what we like to do it's making a copy by hit control C key and then you want to paste control V on your keyboard right so one of them we wanted to hide it now this is going to be our color so we are going to use the boolean difference and the red uh, the black one is going to be cut out from the red one so now you can see that we have this structure right here and then i simply just going to turn it back and then we will have this one and this one fit perfectly i also will suggest you have a fit edges on all of them we don't need to have a like, really big one something small will be fine so i'm going to try point two and I'm going to select all of them there. In that way, you will have a better age for your rendering if you take a look on the render and then you can see those two lines clearly. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have a new course just launching for Master Signa Ring Design. If you're really into the ring format for your jewelry care design, you don't want to mix this course. In this course, I'll show you how to create a simple Signa Ring into very complex championship ring, including the pave setting and the pattern design for the Signa Ring that can apply to many of your jewelry cap projects. The link is in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next.